welcome all of you once again. It's Backpack on Still We're Moving Around Egypt. Sometimes we move outside Cairo to bring you more about the important sites located on the Red Sea. Some other times we travel to the historical sites to Upper Egypt, and sometimes we find out together more about Cairo. In Cairo, you have many different places to visit, whether we are talking about modern Egypt or ancient Egypt or historical sites. Sometimes you have some places to visit, like, for example, the palaces that each palace can tell you more about the era it belongs to in addition of course to the religious sites like for example mosques churches and many other important places let's find out more about cairo and more about the beautiful sites located in cairo a large number of palaces dating from the time of the pharaohs through the Romans, Fatimids, Mamluks and the modern Egyptian kingdom. palaces were once the homes of kings and aristocrats and now they are interesting places to visit. So if you are looking for something new to explore in Egypt and if you love the architecture, art and history of palaces of the past, just find out more about Egypt's palaces.
start with El Safa Palace, which is located on a hilltop overlooking the Mediterranean. Safa Palace acts as the gatekeeper and the beacon of light transcending to the sea. The spot where the palace was constructed in 1887 was elliptically selected to be in renowned Zizinia, the epitome of the elite and a Mecca for the construction of iconic palaces and mansions, particularly during Muhammad Ali dynasty. Safa Palace stands tall amongst the myriad of historic structures. as a presidential palace, opening its gates wide to presidential guests, ministers, and statesmen in Alexandria.
palace was built by the Greek Count Stephen Susenia, the Consul General of Belgium to Egypt, who used to work in the cotton trade. Prince Muhammad Ali, son of Khedev Taufi, decided to buy and renovate the palace and turn it into a royal palace. He named it after As-Safa Mountain that was mentioned in the Quran as one of the Hajj rituals. Muhammad Ali Pasha Tawfiq is the second son of Khedev Muhammad Tawfiq and the only male sibling of Khedev Abbas Hilmi II. He was the regent during the period between the death of King Fuad I and King Farouk's, his cousin, succession to the throne until he reached the majority age on April 28, 1936. Then he became the crown prince until Farouk begot his son. Prince Ahmed Fuad the second. Muhammad Ali was the first to embark on establishing colossal palaces in Egypt, thus inspiring noble Fatima Haider to commission her palace, the Royal Jewelry Museum.
Muhammad Ali was fascinated with Islamic art, so he engraved verses from the Holy Quran on the palace from the outside. The verse, Enter in peace and security, it was written at the entrance of the palace. And to continue exploring palaces in Egypt, to learn more about modern Egypt, to stop at Al Zafaron Palace or the Seferin Palace. The Zafaron Palace, or the Seferin Palace, was built during the era of Khedib Ismail in 1870. palace was so named because the area surrounding was famous for saffron plantations. was one of the royal palaces and it is said that King Farouk was born there.
also used to host the administration offices of the Egyptian University when it was established in 1925. used by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as a guest house for accommodating important visitors. Mm -hmm. 